guys, so today I'm going to do the giveaway winner, and yeah, I really appreciate you guys like entering it and subscribing, and the winner is MakeupXOXO97, so that's in one, and I did it on classtools.net, it's kind of like random.org, except not really, um, okay, yeah, so if you're on that page, like if you see your name on that page, sorry you didn't win, but at least you're not close, you know, okay, um, so I'm giving this person 24 hours to message me, which is tomorrow. And if you don't message me and tell me your address or tell me like, thanks for um, giving this giveaway, here's my address or whatever, or just like messaging me that she won the giveaway, giveaway um, um, by tomorrow if she doesn't, then I'm going to pick another give, um, giveaway winner and message her or she'll message me and I'll make another video and stuff. So I'm giving this person 24 hours to message me back. And yes, that's who won. And now I'm going to go on to the next video. Okay, hey guys. Um, so I hope you guys liked my giveaway prizes. And I forgot to mention that I added a pink sugar plum to the giveaway. Because a lot of people said they wanted that. And now I'm going to start on with the winter must-haves video. And, yeah. So I feel like no one really does these videos. Like, maybe j they just didn't think of this yet. But I did, so I'm making one for you guys. Sorry, I'm looking for something. Um, and I was gone for, like, two weeks. Because YouTube was really annoying me. And it still is. But I kind of, like, some grew inspired me. So now I'm back. And, yeah, so... The winter, mu winter must haves. I really don't like winter because it gets so dry. Dry. What does draw mean? Draw. Draw. Okay, never mind. Um, gets really dark really fast at 5.30 in our city. And, I mean, probably for everyone, you know. Oh, by the way, my hair is really messy because my hair is so frizzy in the winter. I don't know why. Like, shouldn't it be frizzy in the summer? Um, but... Anyways, I don't like the winter, like I said, and yeah, so let's get on with the video. The first thing I have to show you is this Clinique face lotion, and I think everyone knows about this or has it because it's such a classic, good working lotion that is good for any skin type, and this is perfect, like, for any skin type, literally. Actually, it says it's for a combination oily to oily skin, but I mean, I have dry skin and it works, you know? My mom has sensitive skin, and it works. And if you guys have, like, really, really oily skin... Wait, no. Said it wrong. If you guys have really, really dry skin, I would recommend you guys getting the lotion instead. But, um, this is good for dry skin anyways. Uh, so, this is just a must-have for winter. Like, literally the top, mu top product that I would have for the winter, because my face gets really dry. And I hope this video will get will be really short because I don't like making long videos. Like I hate watching like 14 minute videos. I'm like seriously why would I waste 14 minutes watching a video? Um okay so now the next product is just a baby sized lotion to put in your to go makeup bag or your backpack or something because you never know when you need lotion for winter. And then the next things I have to show you are lotions and I lost something and I can't find oh is these Bath and Body Works um, body lotions and these are just two scents I really like putting over my body after showering and it's a carried away and the vanilla vinyl so this is a really sweet and girly scent and this is a like holiday scent so I really like these both really like them um and then the next lotion I have is this true blue mini hand lotion and this is from Bath and Body Works um, this was like $3, I think. It was like 3 for 10 So it's cheap enough. And if you haven't seen these before, it's like in the back section, back section of Bath & Body Works. And this is just a lotion that makes your skin not only, um, look good, but feel really, really good. Like, it feels so good. I don't know why. Like, lotions I usually have, they just, like, look good, but this feels so good. It's like, it's like touching baby's butts. Not, not, not even kidding. Like, I've touched my sister's butt before, like, two years ago. And I still remember, because it was disgusting. Something dropped. Um, but 
it feels like it, so it's good. I mean, like, you don't want it to feel like a butt, but yet it's a baby's butt, so it doesn't matter, you know? Okay, so the next products I have to show you are makeup products, and I wouldn't, I don't have like, specific stuff to show you, but this is just like what I wear in the winter. And the first thing I have to show you is this foundation. And I usually don't wear foundation, like sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. And it's the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse Foundation. And the reason I like this is because it's really good for dry skin, like in the winter, because it's a cream foundation. And it looks like this. It's a cream. Um, so I really recommend you guys with the dry skin people um, because... It's good for dry skin, and this is like my perfect shade, and it's really cheap, and it, like it's never cakey, so so I like it. And then the next thing that I wear like every day is concealer because your skin gets really like pale, and you can like see the darkness and puffiness really well. So that's why I really need concealer in the winter. And one thing I forgot to add is bronzer because your skin gets really really pale in the winter. Like my skin is really tan in the summer, but in the winter it's just like. Ugh. Um, but yeah, and then the next thing is just mascara, and the reason I wanted to show you this, it's like not a thing that like is made for winter, but I actually really like this mascara right now, it's the Great Lash Mascara, no, the Lots of Lashes, the new one, um, and this is really, really good, like, it's really good, like it doesn't clump, and it really makes my, um, lashes really long and good looking so i really like this and if you guys haven't tried it out i definitely recommend you guys try trying it out because it's five dollars and it works really well okay and next thing is obviously lip balm because you need it and my favorite is eos um so on to the random products um this is just a perfect combo for winter like a classic thing to do is read and a candle next to you. This is just a sleep candle from the Bath and Body Work line. It smells really good. And it just like calms you down and reading a good book. It's funny because I got this book like three week three weeks ago and I don't I mean like halfway finished. I'm so slow. Like I don't know why I'm so slow at reading. Okay. So the next thing I have to show you are hair products and it's these organic it's not organic, it's the brand organic, um, organics, because it has an X, um, yeah, can you, you can, it's a coconut milk shampoo and conditioner, and these are actually only like $8 for two, you can find it anywhere, like the drugstore or like the grocery store, and this is really nice for my hair, because I was using Dove before this, and it just did not work, but this makes my skin really, really soft, and the reason I like it so much is because of the scent, like, it smells like coconut, and you can still smell it after like a whole day. So I really like this. And one thing that I have to change next year, I haven't, is I wash my hair every day, so it's not healthy. Um, okay, so now the last thing I have to show you in the bathroom, because I'm going to go outside and show you some food products, is the shirt. I am in love with the shirt. Like, seriously, I am in love. It's... Okay, so if you guys have one of those winter blankets that feel like fleece, this is kind of like the shirt version. And as you can see, the fabric, it kind of looks like it too. And it's just really, really soft. Like, look how soft that is. <sighs> I wear this every day. Like, I wore this last week, and I still haven't washed it yet. I should, because it gets really dirty and stinky. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to probably wash it tonight. And, yes, yeah, so that's what my must-haves winter art and let's go on to the food okay so i just figured out that this video is nine minutes that's way too long um but this is just my christmas tree and i wanted to show you it because i set it up by myself like literally my parents were at work that day and i just set it up by myself and you know how hard it is to put up the base like ours is fake i don't know like we just never really go out and buy a real one and plus this is a really nice christmas tree because it like it's a great shape and it's like a perfect size, so I really like it. Maybe we should get a real one next year, but yeah, it's just not a tradition that we follow. And I can't believe I put this up all by myself. Okay, so now on to the food products. By the way, that's just like a big version of it. Okay, so now I'm in the dining room and like what is this? A favorites video? Um 
But the first thing I have to show you are just yogurt pretzels. It's not necessarily a winter product. But I really like these, like yogurt pretzels. They're really good. And then the next thing is hot chocolate. Duh. And this packaging is so cute. So cute. So cute. Um, and I have two other of these that I'm giving you as gifts. But I have one for myself. And it's really good. Like, you know, just a Swiss Miss hot chocolate. But it's a ne necessary for winter. And then Sour Patch Kids. I mean, Sour Patch Kids candy canes. I love these candy canes. I don't like the peppermint kind, so I really like these. And then the last thing I have to show you is these Snap Pea Crisps from... Um, I don't know where I got it. I got it from Trader Joe's, if you guys know what where that is. That's my sister. Um, but They're really good. And they're really good. Um, And... Um, all that glitters 21 talked about this and I bought it and it's only like two dollars, but it's really good So I recommend you guys getting this So yeah